listen there are three things if you don't have you will remain perpetually poor number one value if you don't have value have relationships if you don't have relationships have character if you don't have these three things you have signed a contract with poverty forever when you leave jesus christ you will find out that every other thing you've held on to is transient god can be known and god wants to be known please listen ghana god can be known and god wants to be known as mighty as god is in fact the bible says there is no touching of his understanding the entire span of eternity cannot this is one thing we will continue to do even in heaven we will continue to learn god never come to an end of knowing him however listen to me there is god fragmented himself as though a curriculum and handed it over to men as far as this dispensation is concerned and our mandate as far as knowing god is concerned is that we must exhaust that curriculum that has been given to us while it is true that there is no certain of his understanding all through eternity will be learning him but ladies and gentlemen please hear me have it at the back of your mind that god wants to be known genesis to revelation is full of experiences where god would demonstrate his desperation to reveal himself to his people every time he saw the people worshiping in ignorance whether it was in egypt or any other place or the men in athens as the bible would say worshiping an unknown god he did something about their ignorance god wants to be known he wants you to know him not just a preacher not just an apostle a prophet a pastor or someone involved in the fivefold ministry god wants to know him and there is a spiritual system he has designed by which men can know him this is my assignment tonight i want to demystify for you by the spirit of the living god and to show you the pathway to knowing god genuinely men can know god the reward being power the reward being stature the reward being confidence but i know whom i have believed is that in your bible i didn't just believe i know whom i believe and the bible says i am persuaded that he's able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day i submit to you by the authority of scripture there are things you cannot do except and unless you know god there are dimensions of your kingdom assignment you will never be able to step into until you know god because you see when god talks to men he talks to men like he's talking to himself god can give you an instruction that will stop you from sleeping go and build the hospital god for you he talks as if you will not need money to build it because everything you need is contained in the revelation of himself to you every time god gives you an assignment the, your first approach to that assignment is not execution is to stay until you find the part of god that supplies the resources for that assignment is someone learning now in every divine instruction there is a dimension of god that gives you the audacity to approach life we live in a world that is very fearful you're trying to get water for me i'm i'm fine i think i'm fine let's try if i coffee again then i'll out out um <laughs> hallelujah are we together yeah there are preachers who know god but there are preachers who are doing ministry there are businessmen who know god and there are businessmen who know clients the difference is always clear there are politicians who know god but there are politicians who just understand the dynamics of politics as far as their nation is concerned my assignment tonight is to challenge everyone by the spirit of god come up either since that door is now open there is a higher dimension to the knowledge of god that we must press into and can i tell you never think that the time dedicated you see this was the difference between mary and martha 
when Jesus came wanting to reveal himself and the realities of the kingdom, Martha was busy trying to focus on things. And Mary sat down and Martha became offended and said, come on, I expect Jesus to tell this lady to stand up. Let the men sit, but the women can go around. And Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. One thing, say one thing. One more time, say one thing. He said, one thing is needful. And that is what Mary has chosen, to sit at the master's feet. Because when you can sit at his feet, you will find the secret to multiplying bread. When you sit at his feet, you will find the secret for speed. When you sit at his feet, what the presence of Jesus cannot give you is not available. Don't try to look for it. If it is not found in his presence, you cannot find it anywhere. Hallelujah. Are we learning? Thank you, Jesus. It is very important that all Christians should know God for yourself. What a pastor say on pulpit, what your preacher is telling you may not be enough. Do well to know God for yourself so that you will not fall if your pastor falls. For more videos like this, do well to subscribe to this channel and also share this video with all your friends. See you in our next video. God bless you.